on January 29th in Michigan, where Americans still make stuff. Two young, undefeated American belt holders, two of the best fighters in boxing, are gonna meet to see if they can make one of the biggest and best fights boxing has to offer. Devin Alexander, Timothy Bradley, with them, their trainers, Joel Diaz, and Kevin Cunningham. Welcome. Hey, thank, thank you, Max. Thank you, thank you, Max. Timothy, let's start with you. You are considered the leader of the pack at 140 pounds. Yet, after Devin Alexander's performance against Juan Urango, people like me were saying, hey, this guy could be one of the best fighters pound for pound, maybe the best fighter in boxing pound for pound in the coming years. How did you feel about that? Um, I was a little bothered by it. You know, I was like, you know, they consider me number one, but what are, what are they talking about this kid? You know, <laughs> what are they saying about this kid? He, got, he knocked out a, 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 a old, slow Juan Urango, all right? Granted, take nothing away from, from Devin. You know, Urango has never been knocked out by anybody. He's been in the ring with some of the best fighters in the world, and Devin caught him with the perfect uppercut. Devin, how did you feel when people like me we're saying, hey, 140 pounds is a stacked division. Look at all these terrific young fighters. And the leader of the pack is Timothy Bradley. Well, first, let me go back to what he said. Urango's not old. He's still, he was in his prime. What is Urango, 26, 27? And how old are you? you I'm you 27. 27, so how can you say Urango's old? He's not, he's not old. He's, he was in his prime, and I knocked him out, just like everybody else failed to do. And, you know, to say Timothy Bradley is pound for pound, how? When he, when he hasn't fought the best, he, he, he hasn't fought me. You can't say that. You had some choice words about Devin after the Katelnik fight. Right. Basically, I, I, after seeing that fight, I feel like Devin, I feel like Devin's ain't even on my level. You know, um, I, just, I just feel that right now, at this point in his career, he's still young, he's 23 years old, great talent. I mean, he has a great talent, I just feel that at this point in my career that I'm, that I'm better than him right now. I've seen a kind of unnatural desire to win in you. What makes you special in the opinion of most to watch in boxing is not even the skills which are good or the hand speed which is good or the physical strength, all that's good. But you fight like you're possessed. You fight as though you will not consider losing. Like, it, you, where does that pressure come from? Well, you know, most fighters, they need, they need a motivator. I don't need a motivator, you know? I, I know how to motiv motivate myself. My dad taught me how to motiv motivate myself. Maybe it's not always as obvious as his, but you seem to have that same sort of thing. If you get hit, you go right back. You refuse, that same kind of refusal to lose. Where does that come from in you? Mm, I just love fighting. I'm, it, it's just in my blood, and it's just been in me since I was seven. Devin has that will that everybody's talking about that Tim Bradley has. He has just as much. And he's the hardest working fighter that I've ever trained. He's got the skill, he's got the talent, he's got the will. And the bottom line, if Tim Bradley wants to beat Devin Alexander January 29th, he's going to kill him. That's, 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 that's real talk. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to die. I'm willing to die in that ring as well. But both of you I'm guys. I'm willing to die. Both of you guys are very competitive guys, but Absolutely. both easy to get along with. And I heard there at the this press conference just now, there was some beef. What was the beef? We just, you know, we just amped up about this fight, disagreeing. I feel that I'm number one, he feels that he's number one. You know, um, he said it's gonna be an easy fight. You <laughs> feel that it's gonna be an easy fight? That's how I feel. And I, and, and and I, I laughed. In my heart. And I laughed, and I laughed. I'm like, boy, what you talking about? It's gonna be an easy fight? You, oh, you sure, you that confident, huh? That okay. confident. What kind of a fight are we talking about here? Are we talking about a fight where one or the other wins on points and it's, it wasn't such a good fight? Or are we talking about a fight that people are going to be talking about afterwards? Hagler Hearns. Hagler Hearns. They'll be talking about it. Hagler Hearns. That's, that's, that's what this fight is going to be like. Hagler Hearns. Why? Because you think that you're evenly matched? Why they, do you say that? No, I'm coming. They already just know. just relying on him. They, like I said, they already know I'm coming. You know, they, they know my game plan. I'm coming from the opening bell. So there you have it. I'm yeah. coming. I'm gonna be and if he coming and I'm coming at the same time, then we, it's gonna be a fight. It's gonna be a shootout. You know, he's coming and he's gonna get it when he comes. So it's gonna be a great fight. 
Who's the more talented fighter? More physically talented me. fighter? Me. Me. Who takes the better shot? Me. I'll give him that. You think he takes a better shot? I'll give him that. He ain't never been down yet. Who, who, who's a better puncher? Me. He got more knockouts. So, so you're admitting he takes a better punch and he is a better hitter? Well, he once he never fought against Kendall, Kendall Hall. Who has the better resume? Me. 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 Seems to me that... <laughs> me, absolutely. Tim me. will give it up yeah. where, where it needs to be given up. And, you're, and the answer from Devin's just me, 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 me. me. It's, it's you know, me. You know, I mean, you know, you know. I get credit where credit is due, but it's me. So what do you see in Tim Bradley that you have to be worried about? that you need to prepare for. He, he's going to have, he's going to come prepared to fight 12 rounds. That's where he's going to be. And I got to be, I got to make sure that I'm coming to fight 15 rounds. Other than that, I don't see anything. What are you thinking about when he says that? He could be naive all he want, man, because you know what? Everybody that I got in the ring say the same thing. Too short, I don't have enough power, that, you know, I, I'm faster than you, that I got more skills than you. And at the end of the day, I always end up victorious. So he can be that naive, and he can go in his training camp and take it lightly if he want to, you know. Um, lightly, I never do. take it. Oh, oh, oh you, well, you never, sound like it. Never take it. You sound like it. You sound like it. I'm going to be like ready, it. though. Okay, you sound like it. I'm going to be ready. All right. Is, is when you look at Devin and say, this guy's not ready for me, is that... Do you think he's going to get better than he is right now? In other words, you're catching him a little bit before he's he's ready for this moment. I feel I feel that's what I feel. I feel that he's young. He's 23 years old. You know, I feel that I'm catching him at the right time. Well, well, well. Look, Chop Chop Corley said that. What is this kid with 13 fights doing in the ring with me in Madison Square Garden on HBO pay per view? Junior Witter said. What's this 21-year-old kid doing in the ring with me? Juan Urango said the same thing. This kid is not big enough, he's not strong enough, he's not physical enough. Everybody came with a game plan, and everybody went home with an L. The same thing he's going to do January 29th. Joel, what do you think they see in Timothy that makes them so confident? If they don't see anything in him, that, that impresses them, then that makes me happy because they're going to have a big surprise. Timothy has a big heart. You ain't going to stop him. You have anything final to say to your opponent? Better be ready. January 29th, I'm going to be ready. Fast and explosive. I'm going to be ready. So you better be ready. Ain't no better be. I'm going to be ready. That better ain't be no better ready. be. I'm, no, I'm yeah, going to be ready. I got to say better be. I'm letting you. you might be slack. No. no. I never slack, son. I never slack. Well, don't slack this time. No. I never slack. Because it's the wrong time. No. No, I never slack. I'm just letting you know that right now. I'm just, I'm just. January 29th, you'll be dethroned, king. You'll be dethroned. I'm a warrior. Alexander the Great was a warrior. You just gotta piss me off. Say the wrong thing, well, and you, then I snap. You, 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 got a, you got a lot of reason to be pissed off, because you got a lot at stake. It's a lot riding on this. So get pissed off, because January 29th, you're going to get pissed on. Hmm. <laughs> Is he coming close? <laughs> no. Nah. nah. OK, guys, before we wrap, I need fight predictions. Tim. I'm going to win. I'm gonna win, hands down. I'm I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win the fight. Devin, spectacular performance, the best performance you gonna see me in. Guys, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for facing off. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. Thank you.